Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Mystic Chemistry Classes. So in this video we'll study about Optical Rotatory Dispersion ORD and Circular Dichroisma CD. There are two spectroscopic methods for determination of absolute configuration Optical Rotatory Dispersion ORD and Circular Dichroisma CD. These methods depend on the behavior of polarized light passing through a solution of optically active compounds. The results have to be interpreted by comparison with a similar compound of known absolute configuration. So, results jaanne ke liye hume pehle se kisi similar compound ka absolute configuration pata hona chahiye tabhi hum result nikal paayenge. Compare karke. ORD The rate of change of specific rotation with respect to wavelength is known as optical rotatory dispersion ORD. Jab bhi koi specific rotation mein change ho raha hai wavelength ke saath to se kehte hai ORD that is optical rotatory dispersion. The speed of circularly polarized components are retarded by an optically active substance to different extent resulting in rotation of plane of polarization. The speed of circularly polarized components ki wo kam ho jati hai, retard ho jati hai jab bhi koi optically active substance present hota hai jisse ki ek different extent tak result karta hai rotation of plane of polarization. Since the speed of light in a medium is manifested in the refractive index medium, essential property of an optically active substance is that it has different refractive indices for left and right circularly polarized light, eta L and eta R respectively. This is also the reason why an optically active substance is circularly bifringent. Important property for the molecules to be showing this particular property of ORD is that they have they must have different refractive indices. So, जो भी optically active compounds होते हैं वो circularly bifringent होते हैं. The difference in indices of right circularly polarized light and left circularly polarized light through optically active compounds results in an unequal rate of propagation of right and left circularly polarized rays due to circular bifringence. So, the difference in refractive indices mein, left or right circularly polarized light mein, through, ap, through optically active compounds in ki se, there is unequal rate of propagation of right and left polarized rays which results due to their circular bifringence. This unequal rate of propagation for both the left and right circularly polarized light deviate plane polarized light from its original direction and it is called optical rotation. So, this unequal propagation ho hai, left or right circularly polarized light ka, ye plane polarized light ko deviate kar deti hai, uski original direction se aur iski wajah se optical rotation hota hai. Angle of rotation theta per unit length is expressed in degrees by theta is equal to pi eta L minus eta R upon lambda. ORD curves can be classified into following two categories, plane curves and anomalous curves. First, plane curves. These curves don't contain any peak or inflection and these don't cross the zero rotational line. The plane curves are obtained for chiral compounds which are wanting any chromophore. So, in me koi peak ni hoti, koi inflection ni hota, aur ye zero rotational line ko cross nahi karte hai, aur ye curves unhi compounds, chiral compounds me milte hai, jin me koi na koi chromophore ki zarurat ho. Two types of plane curves are observed plane positive ORD and plane negative ORD. Here's the diagram showing the plane positive ORD and plane negative ORD. 
Now the second type of curves are anomalous curves. In this type, each curve consists of two extremes, a geometric maximum called a peak and a geometric minimum called a trough. So the peak is we call peak, the maximum is and the minimum wala hai, that is trough. These curves are obtained for optically active compounds having chromophores absorbing in near UV region. So, this type of anomalous curves in optically active compounds mein milte hai, jo ki, jinke chromophores near UV region mein absorb karte hai. These can be further divided into two categories single cotton effect curves and multiple cotton effect curves. Single cotton effect curves only one peak and one trough appears, and the vertical distance between peak and trough is called amplitude, which is given by the formula A is equal to phi 1 minus phi 2 upon 100. Multiple cotton effect curves in this, more than one peak and trough appears. Here is the diagram showing multiple cotton effect curves. Circular dichroism. Now that we have read about ORD, now we will study about CD that is circular dichroism. The differential absorption of left and right circularly polarized light is referred to circular dichroism. Optically active compounds possess the special property of absorption of left-handed -hand, circularly polarized light to a different extent than right-handed circularly polarized light. This phenomena is called circular dichroism. Circular dichroism delta epsilon is equal to epsilon L minus epsilon R where delta epsilon is difference in molar absorptivity. An angle of ellipticity theta is given by pi kappa L minus kappa R upon lambda, where kappa is absorption index. Absorption curves of CD. So these are the absorption curves. This is what absorption curves of CD looks like. The combined phenomena of circular bifringence and the circular dichroism are named cotton effect. Cotton effect and stereochemistry. ORD curves for many compounds show typically plane curve variants, but if the compound has an electronic absorption band in region under study, we obtain anomalous ORD curve called cotton effect curve. Example, ORD curve for an optically active ketone in the region N to pi star transition, anomalous curve is obtained. Pi to pi star transitions of conjugated ketones are of higher intensity than n to pi star. Consequently, multiple cotton effect curves are obtained which make the interpretation more complex. Chromophores which have been successfully studied include aromatic, heteroaromatic systems. Thank you.